Good morning, everyone. Strafe Cal. Playing some more Act Razor Renaissance. And we are in Cassandora Act 2. Uh, the Pyramid. We're heading straight in. Last time we got some harmonious music, wrapped up our side quests, and we are ready for battle. Uh, one thing I am very excited about is we have. Starfall. Which, in the original game, was always the strongest spell by a very wide margin. Ow. Rude. So, Starfall is still ridiculous, that's good to know. <laughs> I haven't seen any side passages, which is a little bit surprising. That was not expected. Is that how far we need to get? Yep. Okay. I was not ready for that. <laughs> That's a cool new addition. That magic boost. Huh. It's a little odd. So either this has more chambers than the other ones, or uh, the way that the scrolls are hidden is different. Because usually we'd have found one of the three scrolls back. Okay, this is opening up a bit more. So that actually makes more sense. That was clumsy. I'm kind of curious if it's actually up or left that is the correct way. I wouldn't be surprised if it's left here. That was correct. That was a fall. <laughs> that sucked a lot. Oh, we have to get over here. So we already did up there. Is it as random as it used to be? Yes, it is. <laughs> We're gonna try going up first. Oh my gosh, so many platforms. I'm 
nope. That was the correct way. We can't go the correct way quite yet. I'm guessing there's going to be something else around here, so... Appear to be anything down. Oh, wait, no, there is. I'm actually going to switch to ice. Minor complaint right there. Um, because of the way that that works, um, your... When you go to the magic menu, um, you have to hold circle to activate it, but then to actually confirm what magic you're picking, you push X because that's the confirm button. This makes complete and utter sense. It is also annoying. <laughs> okay, we got some HP back from that, which is good. Uh, so the reason I'm, I switched to ice is because it is a much shorter animation, for one. I feel like the one of the problems with Starfall in this case is that it's very, um, long. <laughs> and two, there's a lot of enemies that are uh, positioned on the ground in, like, right in front of you that we're trying to avoid. So, like, this is a good spot for Starfall. Or Starfire. Please be something simple. Crap. Being sealed in a chamber was not what I had in mind. Unfortunately, oh, no, no, that's good. Okay, second minor complaint. Those doors, specifically the green doors. Um, most of the time, they have meant that you are going to the next screen and that they are a point of no return. There have been two of them now that have been conceals for uh, the Golden Scrolls. And it feels a little bit odd to me. Like, it feels like if they're going to be one-way doors, they should be the same. Because when the game teaches you that it was that this means 
when you cross this point you can't go back, and then changes it. I actually skipped one of the uh, earlier scrolls. I think it was blood, one of the um, blood pool scrolls that I went back for, or maybe it was one two, uh, Fillmore two. Um, it was behind one of the green doors that I had skipped because I didn't want to progress until I found the scroll. <laughs> so that was a little bit like counterproductive, I guess. Okay, Pharaoh. Slightly less big than it was in the. Oh, never mind. Was a really good combo. And there we go. I would be very curious to see how some of these boss fights play on harder difficulties and slash or without 100% crystals because I've gotten the crap kicked out of me on a few of them, but once I had the crystals, I have not had nearly as many problems. Rejoice, brothers and sisters, for the curse and the fiend who conjured it are no more. As was ordained, the Lord of Light did descend from on high to smite the villain and deliver us from evil. Aye, that they did, it seems. Well done, Lord. It's a strange feeling it is. Now that my vow of vengeance has been fulfilled, I find myself at a loss. Aimless, directionless. Revenge sated and journey at an end. Time to settle down and try my hand at simple living again, I suppose. But I've still some fights left to fight. A new contract, a new client. I'm a mercenary for the Lord of Light. There's some some part of me that thinks that sounds a little bit too close to, you know, something like, I'm a soldier for Jesus. Um, Thank you for slaying the Golden Pharaoh and offer you the Jewel of the Warrior in gratitude. Whenever you require your mercenary services, I'll be there. Awesome. With your divine winds, you have banished all evils from Cassandora, but the other realms must surely still suffer at the hands of Tanzra and his minions. We pray you shower them with love and compassion and did us. Cassandorans are no longer in need of your ministrations at this time. The other realms. There's a holy work yet to be done. Awesome. So the little parade here is totally for uh, part of the harmonious music. Um, I don't think think we really have anything else offhand to do. I just want to get to the end of one build phase just to see what happens. Oh. Your children of the sands are ravaged by rampant sickness, and unlike that of yesteryear, it's far more dire. Okay. The afflicted suffer terribly for many days and nights with no guarantee of survival, much less recovery. We had one recourse, a foreign sage. Killing from a distant marshland, a man of creativity and invention brought with us him many curious devices and contraptions with which he studied sickness in hopes of devising a cure. He did this freely without seeking promise of payment, fitly sold that he is. Thereafter, he informed us that the singular herb may be key to our salvation. Rising hope soon gave way to despair once we learned that this plant grows not in Cassandra's rugged soil. So we appeal to you, almighty Lord of Light, for clemency. If it is our fate to fade into obscurity, doomed to suffer and die, then so be it, but if not, 
the fool of Fillmore, the one who built that strange yet remarkable house? On second thought, perhaps not. Creative the sage may be, but rather more altruistic, to say the least. Yes, nothing in exchange for services. Herb is not native, so we need to go find it. Okay, so this is kind of that same thing we were running into previously. Um, so, Bloodpool needed the um, Bloodpool needed access to music to continue their progression. Passendora needs access to herbs. And those can be gotten from Marana, uh, Marana, I believe. This is kind of one of the weird crux points because I can never remember whether Atos or Marana is supposed to be next. Um, but yeah. By the way, worth pointing out as we're hovering over Marana here, there's that cool island, which is the same shape as the little bird over here. All I know is Northwall is last. Anyway, uh, we have wrapped up or wrapped this up, and I actually am. I think we're 100 percenting We've gotten 100 percent of most of the stages recently, so uh, nothing to go back to. But hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.